Well, things are going really south for Tekadon right now. Like, yo, they had to retreat. They finally get to Mars. And at the end of the episode, it's revealed that they're not going to allow Tekadon or the remnants of Galahorn that's helping out Mr. Chocolate. They're not going to be helping them out. So things are not looking too good right now. Like, things are looking really bad because we're almost done. We're almost done with this season of Gundam. And as we know, when it comes to conclusions of series, that's when characters start to die, especially in this type of series. And judging by how we've already had a couple of deaths throughout, you know, this season of Gundam, I want to assume we're going to have a lot more. And judging by the way this is going, a lot of people are going to die. I knew when they said it was going to be the final battle, it wasn't going to be because of how many episodes were remaining. But damn. So, let's just talk about the message of this episode. So, number one, let's talk about what it means to retreat. So, with Tekadon and, you know, Mr. Chocolate retreating, it, it sends a message that they were in over their heads and they could not follow through with what they wanted to do. After all this preparation and planning, they still could not take down the people that resisted them. And they had to fall back and things are still going south for them. Because at the end of the episode, it's revealed that Mars won't even help out Mr. Chocolate. So, that's going to cause a problem. They're surrounded on both sides. And also, to add more salt into the wound, we do know with what Orga said. He said, like, this will be the final battle and we can go home or whatever. He kind of let down everyone. Everybody's expectations were kind of shot at that moment. And I feel really bad for him because, once again, we gotta remember, the leader position was kind of forced on Orga. And the reason why he's doing what he's doing is because he wants to make sure everybody is happy and they can live a great life. And he's willing to go at any cost to do this. But, what makes it sad and makes him regret what he said is that so many people died after he said this would be the final battle and it really wasn't. And a lot of people are probably upset, but then he realized, even though he is the one to say this and what everybody was trying to remind him of, is that even if he says these type of things, he's not really the one initiating it and getting it done. It's the people that work underneath him. For instance, someone like Mika. Mika is someone that we know is completely savage. He, he kills anyone that's pretty much in his way. And last week, he kind of made a very fatal error. And it resulted in someone dying and resulted in a lot of things going fucking south. And a lot of people can argue that a lot of the reason why Tekadon had to retreat might be because of Mika. But regardless of however you view that, the point stands is that... Orga may initiate things or save things, but the people that really get the stuff done is the people that work underneath him. People like Mika carrying out what he wants to do and making it an actual reality. And I love the message of that, the show that Orga is not the only one that's doing everything, but also he's not the only one that should really be worried about this because everybody else is following him and they care about him and they don't think he's really that bad of a person. They'll continue to do it because the only home they have is really with Tekadon. They don't have no place to really turn back to even if shit goes south and everything hits, you know, the fan. They can't turn back around because it's already too late to begin with. I mean, they're already pretty much, you know, human garbage, and they can't really do anything, they can't really get a job or anything they want, and so the only option they have is to be a part of, like, some form of, you know, group, and that's kind of, you know, what they're with, you know, Tekadon. So, a lot of them, they have no other option but to be there, and if they didn't win, they didn't win. If they won, they won, it would give them a better life, but overall, if they lost, they just gotta suck it up and realize that there's nothing we can do. I mean, even if we wanted to run, we can't because there's nothing else we can do. So I feel kind of bad for a lot of the members of Tachodon, but at the same time, you realize that, you know, it's not just Orga always, you know, making things happen or become a reality. It's all the characters that are helping him out on the side. And I don't think Orga should be the only one carrying this burden. He is not the only one carrying the burden. Everyone else is carrying it with him. And when others fail, they realize that they're kind of slowing the progress of what they want with Tekadon and the future. So... Yeah, I mean, this episode was a very interesting episode. I really love the direction it went, and I love what's going on, especially with the fights and stuff throughout this episode. Like, oh my god, like, that first half of the episode with seeing, you know, Mr. Chocolate going up against Golly Golly, or seeing Mika fight, you know, Julieta and all that, that was, that was fucking badass. Like, the space fighting in this probably by far was the best space fighting I've seen so far from Gundam, Iron Blood Orphans. Like, hands down, 
best yet. Best fight scenes I have seen. I just love the way that you saw the Gundams, like, just clashing with each other in the free freaking space and all that. You know, they're just going around, constantly fighting each other. I love that scene. Very, very badass scene. And I really would love to see more before Gundam, you know, Season 2 is concluded. But overall, a very solid episode and a really clear message to what is really happening right now. Will a lot of Tekadon members die or, or will they be able to survive and make it out of this? That's what we need to find out with the next episode of, you know, Gundam. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.